Hey everyone, Surreal Canine here. Welcome back for more to Sky of Four, A Promise Revisited. In last episode, we met Valvatores and Fenric, the uh, the former vampire tyrant and his faithful steward, who may or may not be uh, hatching a conspiracy to put us in a position of power. Also, in the last episode, we uh, went into the uh, the pretty prison uh, spoke with our graduating class about the uh, basics of combat and we also unlocked the hospital and the uh, the Rosen Queen shop this is our hospital uh, clearly we do not need healing at all and yeah in this episode, I am going to buy Valvatore's a fancy new sword. Yeah, each character uh, has their different likes and dislikes. Uh, Valvatore's likes swords and uh, Fenric likes fists. So I'm going to keep them on that. I have Toy Puppet here. These things here are called Innocents, the uh, psychologist, alchemist, physician. They add special effects to your items and also boost their uh, stats a little. Rarity is a is a random number between 0 and 255. It tells you <coughs> uh, basically the the rarity and quality of your uh, item. Lower rarity means the item is uh, is more rare. Uh, anything less than 32 is rare, and anything less than 8 is legendary. Those get bonus stats and also some extra innocent slots. So what I'm going to be doing here is I'm going to buy this Cutlass for, uh... Mm, scurvy. <laughs> I'm going to buy this for Valatores and equip it on him right away. As you can see, it uh, increases his attack by 19, which is pretty good, really. That's gonna get him through chapter one, probably. <laughs> an open soda. As opposed to open soda, which is an even worse item. Sardines are sardines. We might end up burning through those pretty quickly, or not. Who knows. Yes, I've spoken to the nurse already. I haven't been careful with my saves. <laughs> I'm dumb. But you know what? Whatever. That's what I say. Actually, no. Really, I should save. Well, saving data, please do not turn off the system. You can kind of uh, <clears throat> see my initial attempt at this from earlier in the year. <laughs> Back when I wasn't sure how I wanted to do the demos in Disguise 3, but here we are! We're doing the thing. Let's go. Special skill and defend. So yeah, each character or class gets three or four uh, unique skills that only they can use. Uh, weapon skills you learn by buying them from the ability shop using mana. I'll show you. And that's all I have to say. Each skill has a power rating and a different area of effect. Sometimes they have elements and special effects too. <clears throat> the power ratings I think go from F to double S, double S being the strongest. New to this game is the fact that uh, the defend command uh, 
allows you to protect the units behind you from the uh, area of effect of a special attack. As you can see, only Valvatoris was hit by that. <laughs> so basically, we just have to defeat the enemies. Here's a fighter. He's got a sword. Time to bust some balls. Let's check out our own fighter. His unique ability is Wild Cry, which uh, I got this. Which increases his stats when there are enemies point. around. I shall re-educate you. Red Skull gets Magic Bundle, which uh, boosts his magic at the cost of a little bit more SP. By the way, enemies have elemental affinities. Negative affinity, me affinity means an enemy is weak to that element. Positive affinity means they resist the element. <clears throat> So if you like your magic, then uh, be sure to uh, diversify your elements a lot. Corpse Heal increases recovery by the number of units adjacent to the healer. Cat Saber takes less damage from monsters. And Prinnies, of course, explode when thrown. You can see that uh, the monster classes can equip three abilities rather than two. I don't know why I felt like pointing that out, I just did. Is there somebody left? Yes. <laughs> you! You thought you could hide your pink HP bar behind me? No! Far be it from this fact to space my... Pasta. There. I have said an insult. <laughs> Mine is 15 dignity points. A little bit of extra cash from that. That's nice. The bonus gauge goes up as you uh, do combos and stuff in battle. The ability shop has just opened. You can purchase abilities, special skills, and magic. One is unique to the unit's job or monster class. And we can learn an extra ability by paying mana. Each uh, character and class also gets a couple of abilities uh, that only they can learn, but then they can pass it on to other guys. They're all pretty expensive though, so I'm probably not going to be using a whole lot of them. But I guess we might as well pay it, pay it off. Show it off. Yeah. Alright, let's learn a couple of skills. Yeah, these are tower skills, which uh, we haven't learned what towers are yet. So I'm just gonna ignore them entirely. <laughs> Time the first sneeze, one hour. We could boost our skills now, but we are so low on a SP that it's probably not worth it to attempt that. Instead, I am just going to heal up, save my game, and that will probably be it for today. I know it was a short episode, but oh man, we're just getting started. Alright, see you guys later.